it's a gathering for love, you know, love for your art form, your community, for your um, music, your dance, everything. Set de la Music for me is a celebration. It's a culmination of different kinds of genres and types of music. To be able to experience this cross-generational creativity and synergy. Et puis après, vous pourrez aller faire la fête. Il y aura des centaines et des centaines d'orchestres un peu partout. La fête, uh, everybody knows, now started in the 1980s, in 1982. Uh, it's a one night to celebrate music and to give the opportunity to musicians to express themselves, whether they're professional or not. The director of music and dance of the French Ministry of Culture noticed that there was music everywhere and the concerts nowhere. So in 1982, he actualized a dream that he had to uh, find a way to bring uh, music and people to the streets. So in 1982 was the first Fête de la Musique in, uh, in Paris and they specifically chose June 21, the summer solstice, since this is the day that is the, has the longest number of hours of sunlight. So it was the perfect day to have people just on the streets playing music, enjoying music and celebrating life together. After uh, the success in France, which still exists today, it spread over the world, so it's celebrated in uh, many, many places around the world. The FET has grown over the past 25 years in the Philippines precisely because of, you know, so much talent and musicality. Filipinos are known to, to love music, to love celebrating, and so it's really been a way to kind of bring everybody together to make music as accessible. Like this crazy music adventure for all kinds of music that you wouldn't expect from Manila or anywhere else. Like it's a hodgepodge of like genres and like original music. Every year lots of musicians play several stages. They play it here, then they rock and roll to the next stage. It's always the audience that make it special. Well, it's very consistent. It happens every year, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger every year. More bands join, and it's all for the love of the music and of the scene, of the music scene. They're really a listening crowd. These are the crowd who find their, the music that they want. It was a roller coaster ride because you get into this room, you feel this. You get into another room, you feel another thing. Then you see the rock stage, it looks like Mordor. <laughs> it's nuts. So I think that they have their own avenues and we have, a, there's a big market for everyone. Performers themselves also have a good time. It really blurs the lines between performer and audience. It's fun. You get to see friends, you get to see fellow musicians. You know, uh, you get to hear new music, yeah. new bands, yeah. get to meet new people. It's like a celebration of music. Uh, playing for FET is always fun because um, there's a uh, merong party feeling. It's a real opportunity to sit down and listen to the music, get involved in the lyrics, and um, take a little bit of that artistry home with you. FET is the cream of la creme of all music festivals in the Philippines. when we played Intramuros with our band Wilderness. We were wearing barongs. We were all wearing barongs. I think it was last year when I played with Lust Bass with the main stage in Greenbelt. So that was the first time I sang with a DJ and just me there on stage, just him and me. And it was very nice. Well, my favorite memory is when we played for a very, um, the venue was a very small bar. But very intimate and um, sobrang punong puno, sobrang energetic yung yung feeling the whole night. I think um, my favorite FET memory would be 2017 Hip Hop Stage at the studio because I think it's it's one of those like moments when you see like the old and the new come together. Favorite FET memory I had 
I played like, like four stages in one night. Like it was with my band and like, and it was crazy. Like I had to jump from a lot of stages like that night. Yeah. 2017, that was the biggest for us because we brought up people who weren't in the lineup. Oh yeah, yeah. We actually talked to the people that we know who are out there that we felt who deserved to be like in in the stage with us as well. So we brought them up. We cracked the stage. I think. We jumping and moshing. They were jumping on the stage and then they were jumping off the stage. Nandun kami sa main stage. It was raining uh, so hard. So abang last ng ulan. Yung ulan asin pumupunta na sa amin. But the crowd was still fun. People were jumping around and then. Others, uh, they just threw their umbrellas away and then just jumped right in front of us. The rain was so heavy, like storm. The water was still heavy on the tent. There were people on stage uh, dancing, singing the song. Everybody at this point maybe was already intoxicated. And then on the chorus, when it was really getting more punkier and heavier. The tent, it then went down. The stage collapsed on the car. So, ah, strong, and then fell down. And then we were watching, oh, it fell down. But that was fun too. Of course. That was still fun. It was still fun. That was the last band standing. Last band standing. I can't remember the year when they had a stage in Makadiam and there was a band playing. Maybe they're about 70 years old and they're dressed as hippies. And then this old man just beside me, like, yo, rock on, man. And I'm like, bro, you're like my grandpa. <laughs> you know? But you were so full of life. And then I think that's what's great about this festival. Is that, you know, it just like, it controls of energy and there's different kinds of energy. But it was the most amazing time because you would really feel everyone uh, loving the music. And from each stage to another, walking past all these people, you really feel the energy. I think my favorite set memory was the um, year that Aya de Leon came out of um, came out as a solo artist after her career with Amargo and she did a, um, a double set with Kitchen Nadal and it was such a beautiful moment and then later in that, that evening um, Johnny Danau did a cover um, of uh, Sundo and I, I got to see Aya de Leon cry um, at the, the sheer intimacy of that, that song being played and sung by the, the audience there. So yeah, that was a very, very powerful set for me. The last year we did Brass against the machine. We tried Labag with Brass Pass Pass. This was on the Makati main stage last year, uh, 2018. There were just there were so many people and um, and everybody singing together, like killing in the name of, <laughs> but with horns. Like that was that was pretty that was pretty awesome. And it was really like one of those moments where I was like, yep, this is why I do what I do. stands out because like it's a gathering of like our community like not just in one genre but like everybody like I've seen FET um, for the past years and like people really come out and support the music support the movement of their own styles or genres so I think it's just a come together of everything from art music lifestyle it's the idea of being able to to come together and and just make sweet, sweet, beautiful music together.